Hello and welcome back to Zen on Zoom, a five-day focus yoga and meditation workshop. My name is Babs and this is day two of our series. So welcome back if you have watched the first one or welcome if you're new to this series. So today's class will be focused on breathing and balancing, two things that we really need in our lives and two things that are very important to practice daily to build a stronger foundation and to continually grow strength in each of these topics. So let's come down to our mat and have a seat. As always, you can rest your back up against the wall, up against your bed. You can sit in a chair, however you are most comfortable. But let's just take a seat, close our eyes, and just start to become aware of where we are. Starting to notice how you're breathing in this moment. Possibly with the awareness, with the attention of your breath, you can manipulate it slightly, increasing the time you inhale, and increasing the time you exhale. We'll begin today's practice with alternate nostril breathing to harmonize the hemispheres of our brain and to really connect with our body and with our breath. So if you've practiced this technique before, go right ahead and begin, but if not, I'll guide you through it. So you're gonna take your thumb and your ring finger and you're going to inhale through one nostril and then we're gonna cover it, exhale out of the other and then repeat that cycle. So what this does is as you breathe in through the right nostril, you ignite the left hemisphere of the brain. The left is our logic brain, our thinking brain. And then as you breathe in through the left nostril, you ignite the right side of the brain, which is our artistic, our um, emotional, our, our ability to really connect with that sort of connection, our feeling brain. So we really want the logic and the feeling brain to be in alignment, harmonized, because we don't want one um, more than the other because then it leads to problems. So let's begin that. So if you can keep the mantra in your mind, inhale, cover, exhale, inhale, Cover, exhale. That will help you to stay focused and stay aware of how you're doing the technique. So covering the right nostril to start. Inhale through the left. Cover the left nostril. Exhale out of the right. Once you've completely exhaled, inhale through the right. Cover the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, cover, exhale through the right. So continuing this inhaling through the nostril, covering, exhaling through the opposite nostril. Inhale, cover, exhale. Inhale, cover, exhale. Inhale, cover, exhale.
continuing this breath. If you've lost it, if your mind wanders, just come back to the breathing. Inhaling, cover and exhale. And then relaxing both hands down, inhale through both nostrils at the same time. Exhale through both nostrils at the same time. Again, inhaling through nostrils. And exhale. Wonderful. Let's place our palms together. Close the eyes if you haven't already. Connect the thumbs to the heart chakra, our sternum. Come back to the intention you set yesterday or at the first practice of your goal that you want to achieve during this week. What is it that you want a better grasp on or what is it that you are really striving to meet a goal in your mind? It could be simple as self-love or as complex as self-love. Taking small steps in that direction each day through this workshop. And then we'll bow to one another to begin our practice. And then inhale, shoot the arms up, stretch the arms up, look up, push the air away as you come down. Hands into the ground, into your mat, push down, tall, strong spine, we're gonna look over the left shoulder. Chin grazes the chest as you bring the head, the gaze over the right shoulder. And just little half circles here, moving the neck, enjoying the stretch, enjoying your practice here, staying in the moment here. If you began this practice, try not to look at your phone, try not to be distracted in any way, just be here with me, with you, with whoever you're practicing with. And then gaze comes back up. We're gonna begin small neck circles, just allowing the neck to move in whatever direction that feels good. A lot of tension is held, stored in the throat, in the neck, so this is really good just to release it. What are you holding on to in this moment? And then reverse the circle. Slowly just loosening up the body. And then back to center, pause for a moment. Take a breath in and out. And then we'll inhale our arms up for a spinal twist over to the left. That left hand comes behind you, close to your bottom, sitting up nice and tall, and then twisting your body over the shoulder. Each inhale grows you taller, each exhale twists, rinses, clears. And then inhale, lift that left arm up, cross it over the body. Now your arms are crossed. Inhale to bring the chin and the chest forward. And then exhale to round the chin, comes in between those crossed arms. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, lifting up, lifting that right arm up to the sky as you take a spinal twist towards the right. Again, inhale for length. Exhale to twist. You can use the back of the hand in the back of that right thigh to really get some leverage to twist from the core. That back right hand is close to your bottom. You're tall, you're long, you're strong. Another breath in and out. And then lift that arm up, crossing it over the body. And again, a few cat and cows here. Chin lifts, chest rises. Exhale to round. Inhale, peeling your body forward. And exhale to round. Once more, inhale, coming forward. Exhale, drawing in. And 
then inhale, sweep open the arms, stretch the arms up, and then all the way back down. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Pause here for a moment. And then we're gonna open up our legs so that we bring the feet forward of us, hands to the shins. We're gonna take cat and cow here. So peel your body between your legs coming forward. Then hands stay planted on the shins. You're gonna round the spine, tuck the chin in. Using the movement of your pelvis to rock forward. Using your core to bring you on back. Three more like this, inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale. And then we'll cross the legs over to one side, coming into all fours now. Always an option to come up onto the fists, onto the forearms, whatever feels good for you. Spread the fingers wide, tuck or untuck the toes, whatever feels better. Hug in the core, strength through the upper body, looking down. And then drop the belly down for cat and cow. Inhale, lifting the chin to the chest. This time we'll take our lion's breath as we exhale. So stick out the tongue like you were roaring like a lion. As you come down. Inhale to peel your body forward. Exhale, lion's roar, let it go. Inhale forward. Exhale, lion's roar. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. to neutral, we'll begin a little bit of balance, a little bit of core work here, extending our left leg back, just rocking back and forth here, giving the hamstring, giving the calf a little bit of a stretch here, and then come back to neutral, lift that leg up so you're kicking the back wall, the toes are tucked under, nice long line of energy from your bottom all the way to your heel, feel strong here through the core. And stay here, or we're going to lift that right arm, thumb up to the sky, still looking down, nice long spine. Straighten through the arm, straighten through the leg, one long line of energy, human tug of war, pulling your hand forward, your foot back, inhale here. And then exhale, we're going to connect right elbow to left knee, hugging in. Inhale to sweep forward, reach, stretch, Exhale to contract, pull in. Three more. Inhale to lift, lengthen. Exhale, pulling in. Inhale forward. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug in. Last time. Inhale, reach out. This time, plant that right hand. Keep the left leg long. Grow tall here, and then release the left knee, going right over to that right side, straighten the right leg, and then walk back and forth a little bit, stretching the right leg long. And then as you're ready, build up through the core, straighten through the arms, slight little bend through the elbows, and then lift that right leg up. Roll the ankle a little bit if that feels good. Looking down, strong, straight spine. Inhale and exhale. And then as you're ready, that left arm is going to straighten, coming bicep right by the ear, thumb up to the sky, and we're going to take five of those. Inhale and exhale, elbow to knee. That's one. Inhale, straighten. Exhale for two. Inhale to lift. Exhale, coming in, two more, inhale, lift, exhale, in, last one, inhale, 
lifted. Exhale, coming in. And then straighten, 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 strong. Release the left arm. Keep that right leg lifted just for another breath. And then relax down. Open up the knees. We'll come into a child's pose for a moment. Big toes come together. Relax the arms forward. Release the head down. Take three cycles of breath here. Letting your third eye melt to the ground. Catching your breath calming down the heart rate, building a little bit of heat in the body. And then peel your body back up, coming into all fours once again. And then we're going to come into a standing forward fold at the top of your mat. So bring one foot forward, followed by the other into your forward fold. So up, open up the feet wide, let the knees bend, the belly just rest along the thighs and let the head fall. Grab for opposite elbows, peeling the elbows down, shake the head yes, shake it no. What can you let go of in this position? Find a little bit of a dance movement through the feet, bend one knee and then the other. And then you're going to let the arms be heavy and we're going to slowly roll up. So it's going to start from the lower back, the lumbar spine. You're gently going to lift up here. The head will be the last thing to rise. So like you're a mummy, really slowly rolling each vertebrae up. The shoulders come up, bend the neck, the head comes up, roll the shoulder blades back, coming into our mountain pose. We did that the first session, feet hip distance, arms by your sides, palms facing forward, draw the shoulders down, strong, tall mountain. And then palms come together, taking a breath here. And then we're gonna open up our feet wide. So if you want to go on the long edge of your mat, you can. Then bend the knees. We're gonna inhale our arms out to a T and then coming to our cactus arms. So drawing the elbows back, opening up the chest, really sinking down into our bottom, lifting up the toes, shifting back on the heels. Inhale, reaching up, stretching up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift, rise. Exhale down, three more, inhale and exhale, pumping through the body. Last one, here we go, lift up, exhale down, stay here, and then we're going to tilt one way, come back to center, and tilt the other way sawing back and forth really strong in the legs building the foundation for our balance strong core strong spine Good. and then come on up let it relax Woo. let the arms shake let it go and then we'll come to bring the feet together for our tree pose so we'll start on that right side so strong left leg either coming onto the toes the sole of the foot comes to the calf, or you assist it to come up all the way towards the thigh. If you're near a wall, you can hold on to the wall. Hands come together in heart center. The key to balance poses is to look about three feet ahead of you on the ground, something that's not moving. If you want to challenge yourself, we'll grow the branches of that tree, lift the arms up. And then if you want a little extra challenge, we'll close our eyes. And then hands come down through heart center. Release that, let it go. And we'll take the other side. So either kickstand the heel, 
half or all the way up. Hands to heart center, find your focal point, your drishti. You're looking at a point that's not moving. You're strong, you're tall, you're balanced. Grow the branches if you choose. Close your eyes. And then nice and slowly melt back down and release that down. Inhale, reach the arms up top of your mat. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Hinge at the hips, hinge at the waist, the knees, coming all the way down, coming back onto the knees. Allowing the feet to fall to one side so that you come back onto the bottom. And then we'll make our way all the way down onto our backs. Again, the option to interlace your hands underneath that thigh so it helps you to draw your body all the way back. When you arrive, relax your spine down, draw the knees into the chest and just rock side to side. Use your breath to find the balance between your mind and your body. Align the connection of the breath with your mind to really just allow your whole body to relax. Nowhere to be, nothing to do, just to be here for our last few poses before we enter our final relaxation. So we'll draw the right knee into our chest, extending the left leg long, hugging it and tightening it towards that right armpit. And then exhale, draw it across the body into a spinal twist. Our gaze can come over that right shoulder. And then nice and slow, coming back up, hugging the knee in. And then we're gonna bring the right heel to the left thigh, upper thigh. And keep that left foot onto the ground and just work towards pushing away the right knee away from your body. That will open up the hip. Or if you want a little bit further, lift the left leg. Right hand comes in between that those legs so that you can grasp behind the left thigh, interlacing the hands. Relax the neck, the upper body into our reclined pigeon or our figure four pose. Strong right outer hip opener. That right elbow can add a little bit more opening or you just release and relax here. Flex the feet. release the arms, release that left foot. Now you're gonna let both knees fall towards the right. So you're gonna use that right heel to help to bring the left leg over. So it's added a little bit more stretch so you can get a nice IT band stretch on the left side here. Arms can come out to a T or cactus arms. Feeling a nice sensation through the left outer hip. Loosening through all the muscles in the legs. Really will lengthen the muscles so that we can find strength when we're walking, when we're dancing, when we're doing yoga. When we unexpectedly slip on some water or ice. Strong foundation in our legs will help. And then nice and slow, come back to center. Release both legs, open up the feet wide and just windshield wiper the legs back and forth. 
and then extend the right leg long, left leg comes into our chest, left knee towards left armpit, right leg long, and then from here we're going to draw that left knee over the right side, left arm comes out, gaze comes over the left shoulder. back up keep that left heel on the right thigh either keeping the right foot planted and peel that left hip away or lift the right foot interlace the hands behind that right hamstring and then relax here keeping the feet active Soften the face. And then releasing the arms, planting that right foot down. And then the knees are just going to knock over towards that left side. The left heel is peeling, pulling the right hip down. Getting a nice stretch through the right outer hip. Arms come out to wherever they feel comfortable. might feel stretch all the way up through the side body here. And then unhinge, allow the legs to opening up the legs. Windshield wiping the legs side to side. Then nice and slow, we'll come down into our Shavasana, our final relaxation pose. Grabbing a blanket, an eye covering, something underneath your knees, whatever makes you feel better. Palms come up towards the sky. Relaxing your whole body down onto the mat. We'll inhale to fill the front body. Exhale to release through the back body. Imagining a wave coming up over the front body. And exhaling through and releasing through the back body. Continuing this breath for a few moments giving yourself this time just to be here so that you can leave your practice with love, light, and new energy. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like, or we'll start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Coming back into this space, reaching your arms up overhead, stretching tall, and then drawing the knees into your chest, falling to one side. Laying here for a moment of stillness. And then using the top hand to push you all the way up into a seated posture where we began our class, keeping the eyes closed. Sit up nice and tall. And just notice how your body feels. Take a breath in and out. And then inhale, reach the arms up for the last time. Palms come together 
And then thumbs come down to our third eye chakra, connecting our mind to our body. And then thumbs come down to meet the sternum, connecting to our heart. And we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me and for our second day of this five day workshop or series. And I hope that you continue to practice and continue to take all these skills with you. And I hope that you continue to feel better and that this practice provided you with some peace in your mind and body. Thank you.